Hello everybody, I'm doing a very simple experiment with uh, P-channel MOSFETs. I'm gonna use uh, the IRF9540 which is uh, quite a versatile and cheap uh, device, you can easily find it in eBay or wherever. And uh, it's a P-channel, so um, well, we'll see what it means uh, later on. And it has uh, free terminals like all those, uh, this kind of uh, devices. This is um, an example, this is a device, um, and uh, the free terminals are um, the, the source, which is from where the, the current flows, is this terminal there on the right, then the drain is where uh, you, the, uh, the current leaves the, the device, it's uh, the pin in the middle, and the gate, which is the one to control the, the flow of the current, uh, is the one on the left. So what I did is I hooked up one of those devices there um, with some cable so that it's easier to handle and I also added a um, heatsink. It's not really needed for this experiment but uh, it was easier than to handle the device itself. So uh, that's the, uh, the overall idea. And uh, this uh, little white and red uh, wire is the gate, so the one that controls the flow of the, of the current. And the other two, the brown one, is the drain, and the orange one is the source. So if I zoom out, I will show you my test circuit. I have a bench uh, PSU, which is uh, an old ATX uh, uh, power supply. And uh, I have... Uh, the schematic is uh, pretty simple, as this one. And you can see this is the represents the power supply and here I have uh, the ground and then I use two negative uh, voltages is minus 12 and minus 5. I'm using negative voltages because I'm using a p-channel MOSFET. I would use a positive rails if I would use an n-channel MOSFET. So basically as you can see the source is uh, tied up to the ground and you can see that because the orange cable goes to the black connection here which is ground. Mm -hmm. Then I have uh, going down the, the drain is not connected, uh, sorry the, the gate is not connected to anything. We'll use it during the experiment and the drain goes to a dummy load. This is a resistor here. This is, cost this is a, from um, uh, an old electrical uh, stove uh, just to create a dummy load that can handle a few amperes. Much more than we need today. Then it goes out to a meter, so the exit of the, uh, of the um, impedance is actually coming out from uh, here, this black cable, that goes into the meter, right there, and uh, this is set uh, to a maximum of, uh, of 10 amps, uh, would be not much more than one ampere, so this is uh, more than safe. And the other side of the of the meter goes into a minus twelve, uh, the minus twelve uh, rail. The one on the left of the of the blue one, which is the minus twelve, the one on the left is the five volts that we we'll use to drive uh, uh, the circuit. So basically, <clears throat> now the power supply is off. Let's turn it on, and as you can see. Uh, the power supply is running and there is no current uh, flowing through the circuit. The reason is that uh, at this point uh, the uh, gate is not open. So basically there are no uh, electrical charges uh, uh, on this side that would open the channel uh, for the current to flow this way. How do we open it? Since this is a p-channel we need a negative uh, voltage and we will use uh, a minus 5, I should do. And there, current is starting flowing. Uh, it's floating a little bit because the connections are not uh, perfect. Plus, the resistor itself will heat up a little bit, so the, the, res the resistance will change, and therefore, also the number of amps uh, can actually float a little bit. So, you see, I connected to the um, uh, minus 5 uh, rail. And then I disconnected it, but still the, uh, the, the, the gate is open. Why this? Because this works uh, similarly to a capacitor. Basically, when you charge it, 
then it stays charged and it uh, allows the current to flow. So even now if we turn off the power supply, obviously the circuit goes to zero, but then we turn it on and the, the gate is still not connected, it's floating, it's here. We turn it on again and you see that the gate is still open. So because the, the charges, they were still there, they're still on this uh, metal plate of the MOSFET and uh, uh, they allow um, the, the, the current to go through the channel. So now we need to remove those charges and to do that we just connect this one to ground so that we discharge the gate. If I can get there, there you go. So now it's zero. Same thing, I can turn it off and on, it doesn't change, it stays to zero. So it's enough to, to give some charges, sometimes even just touching the gate, you see, I'm touching with my hands and I'm slowly charging the, um, the gate in this way. It's not fully charged, you see the, 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 the amps are a little bit less than, uh, than before, but still, it's now, it's conducting. And now it's floating, so, well, it's capturing probably a few charges uh, from the air, but not enough to change a lot. And here is slowly discharging, you see? It's discharging and uh, um, it's like a capacitor wearing off its charge over time. But if we give a very good charge this way, voila! Now is uh, letting the it is letting the the, the, gar, the current go through all the way. Again, I discharge it, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching.